In this video I'm just going to introduce the very basic concepts of the for loop. Uh, for the for loop you normally use a for loop when you want to repeat something. So if you look at this for loop we're going to be repeating the statement console.writeline x. In a for loop you normally have what we call the loop variable. That is the variable that determines how many times the loop will be done. Uh, in this for loop the x is the loop variable and the first thing that happens is the loop variable is initialized. You'll see it's declared and initialized. Then the action moves to the middle part of the heading statement and the way you read it it says is x less than or equal to 5. If it is still true that statement the loop continues and whatever is repeated must be repeated. As soon as that statement becomes false, you are finished with the loop. So in this case, when x is set to 1, clearly it's still true. It then moves to what we call the body of the loop, that part which is repeated, and now it will print a 1 on the screen. After completing the body of the loop, in this case printing, applying console.writeline, it goes to the, back to the third part of the heading, and that's where the loop variable is changed. In this case, we're adding 1 to x. So x has now become 2. After changing the value of x, it goes back to the condition statement and says, is x still less than or equal to 5? If it is, it executes the body of the loop. If it's not, it terminates the loop. It stops with the loop. Okay, so to go through the process again, You've got code before the loop, so it comes from the top. The first thing that happens is it initializes x and declares the loop variable. So x is your loop variable, which is declared and initialized to 1. It then jumps to the condition statement and checks whether the condition is still true. If the condition is true, it does the body of the loop. After it's done the body of the loop, it goes back to change the value of the loop variable, in this case x++. After changing the value of the x of the loop variable, it goes back to the condition. If the condition is still true, it repeats the body of the loop. If the condition has become false, it jumps to the code after the loop. So the loop is terminated and the code continues below the loop. So this is what happens as the loop goes through. Uh, I think you should be able to see that the body of the loop will be done five times. X starts off as one, and then it becomes two, then it becomes three, then it becomes four, and then it becomes five. And every time that it does the body of the loop, the value of X is displayed on the screen. So you will have one, two, three, four, and five displayed on the screen. Notice what happens if we change the right line to a right statement. It still displays 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the screen, but obviously it stays on the same line, and you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the same line. Okay, I've changed the for loop slightly now. Notice, and you should be able to see what happens by just looking at the heading. So when we look there, we see x starts off at 1. After each time doing the body of the loop, x is increased by 2. So you'll see x goes 1, 3, 5, 7 and it carries on while it's less than 10. So by just looking at that at the top we can see that x goes 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and every time it displays x, so what is displayed on the screen, 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Notice what I've done in this for loop. I, now I don't have x getting bigger every time. x gets smaller. So x starts off as 10, and then every time you check whether x is still greater than or equal to 3, and after doing the body of the loop, x is 2 is subtracted from, from x. So we can see that x goes 10, 8, 6, and 4. It stops at 4 because after that it's not greater than or equal to 3, and then it displays 10, 8, 6, and 4 on the screen. What I've done now is I've made the right line statement slightly more complex. It does not always print the value of x, but it prints 2 times x. Okay, so it's clear that x starts off at 1, 
it increments by 1 every time and it goes on while it's less than or equal to 5. So we can see x will take on the values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. But every time that the body of the loop is done, it doesn't print x, it prints 2 times x. So what appears on the screen is 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. In this example, I'm f I first showed to you that the, the body of the loop can have more than one statement. So in this case, we see that the body of the loop is console.write and then console.write line. As soon as you have more than one statement, you kind of wrap them with the open and the close brackets, same as that what we did in the if statement. So we've got a, a, a body of the loop that has more than one statement, so it starts with an open bracket and closes with a small bracket, a close bracket. Then what do the two statements do? The right prints the value of x and then, the, and then stays on the same line and then the right line displays the value of x plus 2. So for example if x has the value 1 the right will display x. The right line will have a space, notice the space before the placeholder and then it will display 3. Okay, so the loop goes from 1 to 10, where x gets increased by 2 every time. So the loop goes, the loop variable goes 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And for every time the loop body is done, you print 1, 3, then 3, 5, then 7, 9, and then 9, 11.